Fact Thanks, expert Megan. Chris Hardwick is here. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not a fact. I don't even know. I, do I button this when I'm yeah, sitting yeah. down? Is it coming? <laughs> right, right. Right. But but do, what, do, what do you feel about? Are you concerned about uh, the ability to see the Dodgers? Uh, more so many concerns. I'm glad you're talking, <laughs> talking about, about right. it. Right. This yeah. really the big <laughs> issue of the day. <laughs> day right. These evening wear baseball, baseball pants. Bed. There you go. You know, for a night out. Uh, anyway, it's good, good to see you. Uh, I run the clip of me on At Midnight all the time. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And then how do you feel about this other At Midnight or After Midnight or whatever? I think it is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm not involved with the show, but I was so delighted when I heard that they were doing it because... Right. You know, they're really like to, to have a place where comedians can go on and be funny the way they're funny without burning through their material. Right. Like I, that was so important to me when I was starting out and got to do panel shows, and um, and and Taylor, the host, Taylor Tomlinson is just fantastic. She's a phenomenal comedian. It was such a great choice for the show. So it, I am actually delighted that the show is on. All right, but in one hearts of hearts, and this is me being small. Yeah. Should they have called you first? Well, no. I mean, they didn't have to. Like right. they just, you know, it's like. I'm glad that they, the schedule of that show was, I loved doing it, it was like right. my favorite thing ever. The schedule was grueling, you know, like, because every day, yeah, you you're, have a new one. you're doing a show every day, are right, you right. familiar yeah, with right, the, right, with right, the right. concept? <laughs> but no, I was not, I was actually delighted people would call me and go, what do you think about the show? I go, it's so good for comedy, and I'm, I'm thrilled about it. All right, so. other things going on in Chris's life, yeah. before we get to the project that will save the CW. Um, how old's your child? Two. Aww. Two year old. Wow. <laughs> The middle-aged dad of a toddler, <laughs> right. you know, like it's, it, it is amazing, but there's a lot of like, you know, they run into one room and you go, okay, we're going to sit here and then immediately get up and run in the other room yeah. like a cat. And you're like, dad needs a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the knees uh, are not what they do, used to do, be. Do, does it young you up or does it age you? What do you? It's a weird combination okay, right. of both. Yes. Yeah. So you're like, oh, I feel so vital at the end of the day. You're like, I, I can't move. <laughs> but it is, she is the absolute best, and my wife is amazing, and that baby is amazing. And then sometimes people get evangelical about it. So is one good, or is like, we need to have ten more? Or? Well, that's the thing, is that the people are always like, when are you gonna? And we're like, we're just figuring out this one. You know, so it's, you know, obviously some of that's not up to us, but... Right. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna kind of waiting and, and seeing seeing what happens. Right. But it is it is pretty amazing in a way that you just can't know until it, it happens. No, yeah. I, yeah. no, I yeah. feel that way too. That I, I thought people always sort of touted it too much. Oh, ta then, not, only, not only like people get culty about it when right. you see like new parents are like, it is the greatest joy I have ever. <laughs> you're like, are you okay? And then you have are a you kid, okay? you're like, it is the greatest. Yes, <laughs> you know? you're a member. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. When are you going to experience this great joy? Uh, all right, the prolific producer that is Chris Hardwick. <laughs> Up for auction. Yes. What is it about? But you've always been into stuff. We are, yeah, my wife and I are collectors. Right, my wife, Lydia, who does a lot of horror right. movies, collects a lot, of, a lot of horror movie props. What kind of things are, like, when if we were to go to your house, are there things on display? That, that would scare like, us? Whoa. Of course there are. So my, <laughs> my wife has a bunch of original gremlins. Okay. Um, she has stuff from uh, Army of Darkness, Bruce Campbell movie. It's like what, uh, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, her favorite movie. She's got a werewolf head from The Howling. She has, oh. um, you know, uh, stuff from different horror movies. Mazes, stuff from The Exorcist. I have a lot of comedy movie props, right. so I have I have Rick Moranis's uh, helmet from Spaceballs. Okay, oh, actual wow. helmet. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, and then and Rick and Mel signed it. Oh wow! Which was and do signatures add value generally or not? Well, it to me, emo well, right. yeah, I guess technically, but I never think about it as financial. Okay. Emotionally, to right. me, it added a lot of value because Mel signed it. They signed it for me. Okay. Like I didn't right. buy okay. it signed. Right. I, I went to, I'm friends with Max um, Brooks, his son, and he goes, if you get the helmet, I'll get my dad to sign it. Right. He's amazing. So I go to Mel's office, and he was like, what am I signing? It's full of energy. And yeah. I go, well, I have this helmet, and I also have Gene Wilder's credit plate from wow. Young Frankenstein, wow. the hand-painted right. Gothic lettering. And he goes, all right, two things, a buck a thing. And I go, I only have a 10. He goes, I'll make change. <laughs> and he gave me $8 yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. It was the greatest experience of my life. You should save the $8. I should have. That's I framed so it. But anyway, this idea of collecting, <laughs> we, made, we made a series about the largest single Disney collection mm -hmm. in existence. One guy. Just had thousands of pieces from all the Disney parks and Disney studios and stuff, and we followed this really great gallery in the in the Valley, um, Van Eaton Galleries, Mike and Janine Van Eaton, and they put on these great Disney auctions and from start to finish, and it was just all this great information. The company who did it made the movies that made us, the toys that made us. Oh, those are great! Uh, yeah, yeah. Attraction, great a company yeah. called Nacelle. Right. 
uh, and my friend Brian Volkweiss. And so they did this great job of, you know, if we're talking about the Dumbo ride car, we go into this info minute about how Dumbo, the movie, saved Disney Studios, right. um, got financially. And so it's just a really great, feel-good, wonderful show. All right, before we say goodbye, an impossible to answer. Was there any single item you coveted? Oh, yeah, a lot of, well, mostly Haunted Mansion stuff, which okay. is stuff we collect. Right. Yeah. But before we go, Sam, I just have to say, because my mom adores you. Oh, gosh. My mom, Sharon Hills, yes. of Rodeo Realty in Beverly Hills. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> That's a good plug. Yeah, right that there, was really good. For my mom. Yeah. For my mom. Oh, you love, love yeah. My mom adores right. you. Well, loves you, all of you, right. by the way. We have to go bowling again. We bowled. I and remember bowling. you saying that. Yeah. Think yeah. about Chris Hardwick, because yeah. he came with not, you had a bowling bag at that time with two balls. Do you now carry three I, I, because pro bowlers, wow, that's you serious. don't mess no, around. Still just the two, Sam. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but, but you have the regular ball and then one to pick up spares. One to pick up spares. Right. There's a, the, the the first ball hooks, the second ball is, picks up the spares. I would like to go bowling. Uh, I've got the, the the dad knees though. I'm right. still trying to work uh, out, yeah. but uh, but I am but I am up for it. All right, fair enough. I'd like to do it too. Up for auction will consist of eight 30 minute episodes. It all starts. Well, it started February 8th. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, it's up. It's up. It's already there. It's already there. Okay. You've been watching it, haven't you? I've been, I've been yeah. yeah, so just watch the, finish watching KTLA. Right. And immediately go watch, watch this on the, on the CW. CW. There yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.